Hey, Valley family, how are you today? It is Thursday, October 15th, and it's getting a little brisk out here in the backyard. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do these videos from outside, but I'm going to as long as I can. So let me share uh, some encouragement with you from Matthew chapter 3 today. Matthew records... Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John, John the Baptist. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It's proper for us to do this, to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. It's that last verse that caught my attention. This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Now, of course, Matthew chapter 3, we are at the very beginning of Jesus' public life and ministry. He hasn't healed anyone yet. He hasn't done any miracles. He hasn't uh, rallied a large group of followers around him. He hasn't even preached a gospel sermon. And yet, the Father says, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Now, we would expect God to say something like that maybe after the resurrection, right? After Jesus has done all of his amazing ministry and helped so many people, then we would expect God to say, I'm pleased with you. I love you. But that happens before Jesus does any of his public ministry. Jesus' public ministry doesn't merit God's love, doesn't make God the Father love the Son. The public ministry of the Son flows out of the love that the Father has for him. Maybe during this time of coronavirus, you haven't been able to do some of the things that make you feel like you are a real contributor in the kingdom of God. Maybe you haven't been able to serve or help in some of the ways that really are meaningful to you. Maybe you've had to focus on some other things. Do you know, dear friends, how much the Father loves you? Not based on what you're doing for him, not based on your performance, not based on how much you're serving, not based on how much you're helping others. All of that is good. And God loves it when we uh, help and serve and minister. But his love for us precedes any of that. And all of those good things flow out of the love that God has for us. His love is there at the beginning and our ministry is done out of its truth and power. This is my son, this is my daughter, is what God says of you today. Whom I love and with whom I am well pleased. Let's pray. God, we're grateful that we don't have to earn your love. We don't have to work for it. Uh, your love just is. It's a constant in our lives based on your character and who you are. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit always loving one another. And your love overflows and includes us. We're so grateful for that. Speak to us by your Spirit today. And even if we're not feeling particularly fruitful or even useful in terms of the gospel ministry that we aspire to do, God, assure us of your love right now. 
and help us to feel loved and know that you love us dearly. And out of that, we can grow and serve and minister and help how we can in these difficult days. This is our prayer on this Thursday. Amen. All right, friends, have a great weekend. I'll just remind you one final time about our opportunity to serve with some international students from the U of M this Saturday. If you still want to come along and help, we're going to go uh, down to Nurstrand Bigwood State Park for a hike. And uh, we've kind of changed our plans a little bit. We're actually going to come back to the church building for lunch. And so um, if you're interested in joining, we have a, a group from Valley who's going to facilitate that, but there's still room for more. So uh, think about that this Saturday, and we'll see you this Sunday for worship as well. God bless you.